Hello guys. So I'm a tad early today than we usually do it and that is because Jeremy's schedule got changed. Usually my husband is a 2 to 10 shifter, um, 2p to 10p. So I usually have the whole entire evenings free but today he is, um, what is he today? noon to eight yeah he gets off at eight so um he's gonna be home in the evening which is nice because i get more hours with him in the evening but then it's like wait crap i gotta hurry up and get stuffed up so that's why i'm on early but and let's be honest i'm sitting on something let's be honest i think everybody needs a break for tonight i won't be i'm gonna be 100 percent truthful i feel like everybody was on a roller coaster today and we all just need to sit down and you know and we all need to take a break today kind of like this evening we need to take the night off a little so um we're gonna just get this done and get off okay um so the topic tonight is your sensi bible and i'll be honest i have a list of like topics and the list was created prior. I didn't create the list. There was 52 items to go live with in your business. And I was on your team page. I was like, boom, take it. And I just started going through them. And, and you all know me. I schedule my posts ahead of time. And I didn't pay any attention. And to be honest, I don't know what our live tonight is until it posts at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's when I'm like, oh, crap. What's my live about? Like, I don't remember. I should probably get better at that, but I don't remember until I post it. So when it said, tonight is your Scentsy Bible, I was like, I don't know what my Scentsy Bible is. But then after a couple minutes of thinking and thinking and thinking, um, these are the things that I use on a daily basis to run my business, okay? And every, I personally think everybody's Bible, their Scentsy Bible, is going to be different. Um, to me, it is what you use in your business that you cannot be without, that it keeps you centered, it keeps you focused, it keeps you on task, it has the answers. And that's what these items are. I actually have four, four of them, but don't be like intimidated. Don't be like, holy crap. Okay, we're gonna start off very, very simple. The first thing I have is my to-do list. And I know that seems super, super silly, but um, I'm big, if I don't write it down, I'm gonna forget. And if I have an idea or I'm like, holy crap, I want to do that in my business, I have to write it down. And if I don't write it down, I'm going to forget. So for me, one of my Scentsy Bibles is my daily to-do list. And when I say daily, I make a to-do list 365 days a week. Even on Christmas, I have a to-do list. And that's literally just me. And even if it's just taking things to have that didn't get done yesterday and moving it over to today, it's still on the list. So I don't forget anything. So my Scentsy Bible number one is just my to-do list. I'm a pen and paper kind of chick. Um, very, very simple. It is everywhere. It goes on vacation with me. That to-do list is never away from me. I have it all the time. Not like I don't carry it like in my purse or anything. I'm known to send myself a text. Like if I'm out in the store and I think of something, I will send myself a text and then I will put it on my list. So that's number one. Number two, your consultant guide. You all got one of these when you joined. I'm gonna bet most of you threw it away, but this is your consultant guide. And it has everything in it that y'all ask me about. Um, it talks about your shooting star award. It talks about sensational star awards. So when you are getting teammates and you are becoming a leader because as soon as you get one teammate, you are officially a leader. So once you have one teammate, Y'all come to me and you're like, holy crap, I don't know the answer to these questions. They're in there. So all the information on your sensational start. Talks about how to launch a party. I mean, I know a lot of this stuff is like basic stuff and after you've been in it a while, you don't need to know. But sometimes you need to go back. Your list of 100, how many, um, eh, you can read it if you wanna read it. I mean, I'll be honest, I have never read the whole thing. I read, read bits and pieces of it. Um, this is your list of 100. Most of you probably did not make that. I'll be honest, I didn't make it because it's very intimidating to me. I don't have coworkers, I work from home. Um, community contacts, like I'm like, eh. so I didn't make this list. But it is a great thing to use sometimes when you're getting stumped, okay? And it's something that you can use all the time. So that's in there. 
booking parties, information on how to booking parties back to the basics, okay? Sometimes we get so worked up in all of like the new stuff, we forget the basics. Party packs, host packs, host rewards, different types of parties. It talks about your workstation. Now granted, the workstation has changed since I was a consultant, but it's still relatively the same thing. It tells you about your workstation, what's in all of your different tabs, um, marketing yourself, um, the family store, building a team, compensation, pay portal, paydays, income tax, receiving, I mean, it literally has everything. Since these standards, everything we talk about in compliance is in these Cincy standards, product claims, things like that. Talks about all your awards. So my second Cincy Bible, this consultant guide. And I'll admit, I, I honestly didn't know it was at first. And there is a digital version. If you don't have this one, there is a digital version always on our workstation. But this is the second thing. Do I use it on a daily basis? No. But I do like to know where it's at so that when a new teamie asks me a question, I'm not like, huh? Um, but I'll admit, I've never read the whole thing. I have it, but I have read bits and pieces that were important to me. I have read, but I always make sure I have it. So that's two, three. If y'all know my catalog, it's in here. You guys know, we talked about it last week. I always know where two catalogs are they are in good shape and they have notes in them. Okay. So that's Bible number three. Again, we're not going to spend a lot of time on that because we talked about it last week. It's important. Get you a binder, get you pro your sheet protectors it okay put it where you know where it is the last thing and this thing I would literally be lost if I did not have this I don't know I mean I could run my business but I would have a major hiccup is my planner this is strictly a business planner on the front I have this sheet and to be honest this is my pre-order sheet um, this is from today moon over Jupiter is coming back I've got my pre-list started over here. Page one, and this goes out to anybody who is a leader. You have to take care of your own personal business first, then you take care of your team because you need to lead from the front. You need to lead for example. If you are a leader and you are personally not getting your numbers, you can't, because you're focused on your team, you can't do that. Your business is first, your team is second. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I mean, it's just how it is. Because if your business fails personally, your team suffers because you're gonna fall off, you know? Or you can't tell them to do something if you're not doing the same thing. I personally cannot tell you guys to go out and book parties if I'm not booking parties, okay? So the first thing in my planner is my social media planner. And you guys have seen this before. That's how I plan out my month, plan out my post, so I know where I am and I'm organized. The second pages after that are my expenses that I don't really use too much anymore. I've been staying pretty caught up. After that is the join and host tracker. That remember, we printed out with our goal of 10 and 10, 10 host conversations a month and 10 join conversations a month, despite the outcome. That's our goal. Then the next section is my customer order tracker because no matter how hard or how awesome you think you are, I love you, but you're not. You're not going to remember who ordered. You're not going to remember if you sent them a thank you. You're not going to remember if you added them to your monthly mailer list, your follow-up list. Um, if you do text, you're not going to remember. You're just not. Trust me, from years and years of this, I can't remember. So I created a tracker. It's in our group name, the date they ordered. Did I send a 24 hour thank you? Did I send them a text to sell them 24 hours or a Facebook message? Um, did I mail them a thank you, a big thank you? Okay. So however you do your thank yous, did I do that? Um, next, did I add them to all my lists? Did I add them to my project broadcast, which is my texting? Did I add them to my email list? Did I add them to my follow up? Did I add them to my monthly mailer list? Now I do four checks. Did I invite them to my VIP group? Check that off. Then I have a spot for the order or the shipped date, like delivery date. And then did I do the follow-up after delivery? That's it because I'm not going to remember. I'm just not. So that is the next section. After that is all about you guys. 
this is promotion watch it's called promotion watch but it's not really it's morphed into something else it's where i keep track of everybody who's active every month so that i know how who to get washers to and who not to get washers to but i keep track every morning i go through and i write down everybody who was active who became active overnight you know that wasn't on the list who added a teammate who was paid a title i track all of that so that i know at the end of the month who i'm mailing stuff to and what for then after that is numbers i track our numbers for the whole month every day except sundays sometimes i do sometimes i don't but i track our numbers every day what was my prv what was our gwv and how many did we have active on our team and the first time somebody told me to do that i was like mm -mm, i don't like that because i was worried i would psych myself out or i would feel bad like oh, I'm not doing nearly as good as I did last month on the 15th as I am this month on the 15th or vice versa. You know what I mean? I was worried for my personal self that it would bother me. Um, you make it yourself. It's a happy planner. Um, all the trackers and stuff like that are in the group. If you need them, let me know. Um, because everybody's needs and wants and the way they track things are all different. Um, but tracking your numbers, it scared me. It really, really did because I don't want to fail as bad as that sounds. And I was worried if I saw the numbers. I was worried that if I saw it that, you know, last month I was at 2000 PRV on the 15th and this month I'm only at 200. Like I'm going to go into a panic. I was worried that that's where it would put me. But I've come to find out it's actually kind of nice to track our numbers. Even if the numbers go aren't going up as quickly as I want, it's kind of exciting to see that jump. Like today, for instance, I don't know what we finished at after the crazy launch, but I can tell you from Saturday to this morning, we jumped over 4,000 in GWV. So to see that, like, but there are certain days where we only jump like 200, but to have jumped 2000 from Saturday morning until Monday morning, it feels good. Like you feel good, like you're proud. So, um, that's it. This one is the big one. This one to me is my Bible. This one, it runs my business. It tells me when I need to work the next time. I also keep track of my parties in here. Um, G, G, W, V, you don't need to worry about that either. That's when you have a team. Um, in here, let me pull it up. So where I track our numbers as a team, I also use this calendar and I printed this off. Um, I track parties. Oh, see, so I gotta hold it. Where do I have a party? Okay. Down here. See these two names in the lines and then you go over. That's when that person had a party. So I'm able to write them down on this calendar. Like, okay, she's gonna have her party start on this date. It's gonna go to this link. This way I can send out host boxes and party packs ahead of time. I know ahead of time because if her party is gonna start the 24th, I know I want her host box out at least a week before that. I want her party packs out a week before that. So I'm able to kind of plan things out a little bit better um, because before I wasn't like you would get that holy crap a party starting tomorrow and I didn't send anything out. So if I do this and I'm looking at it every single day, I am able to kind of stay on top of things. So those are my Cincy Bibles. Those are the things I need to run my business on a daily basis. My to-do list. The consultant guide, again, it's not something I look at every day, but it is something that I need to have knowledge of and we all need to have knowledge of. My catalog, that's very easy to grab. I always know where it is and it's not ripped up. And my business planner, those are mine. Now I would love to hear what is your Cincy Bible. Oh my God, I did post it notes in the beginning. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> it is taking me five years to get to this point. Um, the to-do list has always been around because I've done that since I was like third grade. Um, the consultant guide. And I've always had my catalog and a planner since about my second, no, my first year. I did it after my first year. The planner, 
started last year and I can tell you it's changed my business a hundred percent um but I would love to hear what do you consider your Cincy Bible what thing book notebook planner what do you need not a computer not a phone I don't want to hear that what things do you need to um run your business like if it was gone you'd be like holy crap I mean, I can work without my catalog. I can work without my consult consultant guy. I can work without all of things, but it would be a struggle. So I would love to hear what is your Cincy Bible and tell us below because you may inspire somebody else. Just because this is how I work doesn't mean that's how everybody else works. Um, everybody is different. If you want information on the Happy Planner, just let me know. Um, I will tell you what I ordered and I went cheap because Happy Planners can be very expensive. So I did go on the cheaper end of it. And um, I can tell you guys exactly what I got. You guys know about the binder, notebook, things like that. So if you need help finding like the consultant guide, let me know. But tell me below, tell me in the comments, what is your Cincy Bible? So I hope this helped you guys. Again, any questions, just shout at me. Bye, take the night off, rest. After you answer my question, answer my question first, then take your night off. <laughs> Bye guys.